What's up guys welcome back to another video in today's video I'm gonna teach you how to make an epic balling game in scratch so this was a request from our subscriber and it was a suggestion Ethan scratch tutorials a big shout out to Ethan scratch tutorials so let's get started so first of all you have to create this backdrop I will show you this backdrop how I have made it so I just painted a simple floor and these are the side pipes and this last thing is to stop our ball so continue uh, and i've made these bowling pins and here is our ball so let's see the costumes of our ball costume and i have made the rolling costumes in our ball so that it seems like our ball is rolling when it moves towards the bowling pins now many people would be saying me that why have i created so many sprites for the bowling pins instead of that why can't i clone these uh, pins either so i would say that i will try and get the easiest and simplest solution to make this game for you and it would be harder if you clone every sprite and uh, and place it at different locations so that's why i decided to go for different sprites so let's continue first of all i would code my ball i would go to events grab when green flag clicked I'll go to motion, point in direction, zero, cool, then I'll gonna, I'm gonna add a forever loop and first of all yes I need to say it to go to this x and y position, cool, add a forever loop, then we are gonna go to control and add repeat until sensing key space press so this means that whatever inside this repeat loop will happen will only repeat until i press the key space this is very easy to understand that it will only repeat uh, any record that i write in this loop will only repeat until i press the key space and when i press the space key it stops okay let's continue so i'll go and add I'll go to controls and add if loops. I'll add four if statements. And now we need to go to sensing. And I can just directly duplicate it instead of going to sensing. I'll take it to left arrow, right arrow. A and D okay so we are using the left arrow and right arrow to rotate our ball at different angles and A and D are to move our ball uh, in its X position so let's continue I'll go to motion In the left arrow, I'll add turn 15 degrees left and the right arrow, I'll add turn 15 degrees right. Okay, 15 degrees is too much. Actually, I will do it for a 5 and maybe it, it should work better. Yes, that's what the thing I wanted. Perfect. Cool. So now I'll add some controls for the A and D key. So I'll go to X position, change X by five duplicate it and change x by negative five a d a d okay it's working yes it's working good and that's the thing i wanted i can rotate it also and cool so we have done the basic uh, aiming coding of our sprite one which is the ball and now we have to make our ball roll when we press space key so i'll add a wait until i'll go to controls and grab a wait until block and press it uh, and place it below the repeat repeat loop and in the wait until i'll put uh, 
sensing i'll go to sensing touching color so yes i would go to wait until touching color and i'll go to the color picker and choose this this last bar so wait until touching color uh i'll go to controls wait 0.05 looks next costume and motion move 10 steps okay okay so guys instead of this wait until uh, i i sh should add a repeat until and i guess that would make our ball work and it would move perfectly so i'm going to aim my a and d are still working so it's too slow not like this i'll do 0.05 seconds maybe then it's fine yes and our uh, and our ball is rolling perfect so that's what we wanted so now let's go to sprite 2 uh, which is which are our bowling pins so let's get started and code our bowling pins so i will go to looks in my ball and i would set it to the front layer because otherwise it's, it would look bad somewhat like this our ball is rolling perfect and the rolling costumes are also working fine okay all good let's go to the sprite 2 which is our bowling pin i'll go when clicked mm set size to 40 when clicks it size to 40 and motion go to x minus 60 and yes we need to create a score variable score for all sprites and set score to 0 we'll go to motion and add point in direction 90 then go to control wait until sensing touching sprite one which is our ball wait until touching ball controls repeat 10 times motion turn 15 degrees variable change score by 1 let's test it point in direction and yes score and one thing i need to fix in my ball is that i have to switch it in costume one when we start okay now let's see so i have to try this with the corner pin which is our now it should work i guess Yes and you saw that when the ball hit the pin the pin started falling and that falling animation was working totally fine and that's what we wanted so now let's just copy this code to all our pins but yes remember if you copy the same code into every bowling pin the problem that will come is that every bowling pin will go to the same location so just be sure that you don't make that mistake and edit the location in every bowling pin
I'll copy it to sprite line also. And I'll keep them a distance of 30 in the X and 30 in the Y. Let's try what have we made. Okay, so the animation of the pins rolling down is working totally fine. And now we want the ball to come back at its starting location, which was X0 and Y-138. I'll stop the game first of all. And I'll go... I'll add a weight of 0 0.5 seconds or maybe 0 0.3 seconds go to back go back to its original location and then looks say I want our ball uh, to speak the score so say hello for four seconds and I'll say I'll go to the operators and take two join operators and I'll go score pins I'll write pins here you have knocked okay so remember to add a space after writing this line and a space before writing this word and then just keep it inside this so i'll just explain you the code of everything once again first of all we'll start with the ball when green flag clicks switch costume to costume one it's simple go to front layer go to x0 and y minus 138 which is its position point in direction 0 uh, which is the upward direction forever repeat until key space press until we uh, press the key space it will be able to turn uh, it will be able to rotate and change its x for aiming towards the bowling pins and after we press the key space so that after pressing the key space the player should not be able to uh, move its ball so that's why we have put a repeat loop, repeat until loop at the starting and then we have repeat until touching color aqua uh, which is at the last to make our ball stop uh, it will repeat until we our ball touches the color aqua it will move 10 steps at the speed of 10 steps and it will change its costume after every 5, 0 0.05 seconds which i have already told you about the costume the costume is the rolling costume which uh, when played seems like our ball is rolling in the floor and after that wait 0.3 seconds go back to the original position which was x0 and y minus 138 say you have knocked score and pin score is our variable so like score is 7 so it will say you have knocked 7 pins let's test it you have knocked 7 pins so this is the proof that it works clearly and after this i'll go and add a stop all so i have made this game easily and once i will explain you the code of our pin also the code of our pin is when green flag click set score to zero so when we start the score should always be zero and the pins will go to their location which is different for every pin but for this it is x minus 60 and y 150 set size to 40 percent point in direction 90 wait until touching ball it will wait until it touches the ball and at the time moment when it hit, hits the ball it will repeat 10 times it will turn 15 degrees so that's make uh, that makes our bowling pins look like they are falling and then after that change score by one so when we hit any single bowling pin 
the score changes by one let's test our game once more time okay so as you can see our game is totally working fine so thank you so much guys for watching this video please like subscribe and share and also give me suggestions in the comment box for new game ideas please like subscribe and share and share this video to your share this video to your friends to make our channel hit 1k subs soon thank you for watching goodbye